Hello viewers, I'm Sponge 18 and welcome to my very first update video for my GTA Ramming series. The reason for me doing this of course is because a couple of weeks ago GTA Online got an update which added a bunch of new vehicles of course and one vehicle so far has been tested by Bruffy so I can update the SUV video because the new video that has been tested is the Pegasi Taurus in the SUVs class and it gets into fifth place in the class with a momentum of 124,667 kilogram meters per second which pu pushes the XLS out of the top five into sixth place and falls short of the contender in fourth place. Uh, the difference between the, uh, the Taurus's momentum and the XLS's momentum is actually not that much uh, but it's still quite a way away from the contender's momentum. Uh, and here's the graph. Um, I've put a little arrow in to identify where the Taurus has now placed in case you can't uh, see the words at the bottom. Uh, so you can see it's a lot closer to uh, the XLS and the Ballers and the Huntley S and so on than it is to uh, the top four. So with that all said, let's see how this vehicle performs when I take it out for a little drive. And uh, in general, it is quite good at ramming. Um, of course, I'm testing this on the same stretch of road that I uh, have shown all other vehicles that I've tested. And um, there is a little bit of a, an issue with that. Uh, because it's in the city, there are a lot of you know bumps in the road and so on, curbs, all that kind of stuff. And this vehicle has a very bouncy suspension. It doesn't really like uh, to negotiate curbs and stuff like that. So it is a little bit difficult to drive sometimes. And... Um, can spin out sometimes uncontrollably, launch itself through the air, stuff like that. Um, but if you're ramming, you know, head on against things, not at a weird angle, usually you can get through pretty okay. And the uh, the acceleration of the vehicle will uh, will carry it back up to its top speed. I say its top speed, you know, an acceptable speed, um, pretty quickly. So. Overall, this is a pretty good vehicle at ramming, I'd say. Um, although, do of course, <laughs> as you can see here, be careful not to sort of launch yourself on uh, on a very ramp-esque vehicle. Uh, I think it was the, the Fusilade uh, that it rammed against there. So, uh, yeah, just be careful, but that's the case with any vehicle, really. Although, maybe it's... Uh, because this vehicle is so fast or, or so bouncy or a mixture of the two um, that made it get launched so far, you know. Uh, so, uh, that's pretty much it for this video, viewers. I mean, there's nothing else to show after all. It's just, uh, just one new vehicle added into the SUV class. What I'm going to do for the rest of the vehicles from this update is wait until every single vehicle has been released for each class before I update each class video. Uh, for example, the Impaler was released on day one, that's a, in the Muscle Cars class, um, along with some other um, muscle car cars that are part of the Arena War vehicles. Um, but there are a number of muscle cars yet to be released in the drip feed. I'll wait until the very last muscle car from the drip feed has been released before I update the video. For the, for the muscle class, so uh, plenty more uh, to come uh, in terms of updating all these class videos from all the new vehicles, uh, and of course I uh, will eventually get round to continuing with the classes, I think the utility class was going to be the next one. So uh, that's pretty much it, uh, check the video description for all the usual links that I put in all these videos. Uh, as always, thank you very much for watching. Feel free to subscribe if you aren't already if you want to see more videos in this series. And as always, good luck with whatever games you're playing, and I'll see you next time.